Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I might the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Did you see the Afro Man video? Oh my God. This is a good thing to talk about. <laughs> Yeah, this is a good one to talk about. So yes, <laughs> I saw the footage way back in the day from yeah. his home cameras when they came in, uh, and then I guess they're suing him. Yeah, they're suing the, him for invasion of privacy. Yeah, me, because because he posted, uh, he, he made a song out of it. Yeah, he made a lemon pound cake song because yeah. <laughs> that one because that one sheriff in that one part stops and like he really hard looks at that pound cake on the count on the counter. <laughs> It's so funny because uh, apparently, I don't know which police department it was, but the sheriff county uh, did a raid on Afro Man's house. This happened a while ago, though. Yeah, um, yeah, I don't remember when. I mean, recent, in, but a while. It yeah. was in 2022 for sure. Um, but it happened last year, and they uh, apparently they damaged, like, obviously his front door because they kicked in his front door. <laughs> They uh, ransacked the home looking for uh, illegal narcotics, and there's even an image of one of the police officers stealing some money that they found, um, and it looked like his laundry room, <laughs> and the cop it can clearly be seen taking the money, looking at it, looking at his other cops, and putting it into like his little... Uh, his. His satchel on his, his evidence locker, of course. His evidence locker. <laughs> Definitely not his pocket. Oh, that's what I'm going to start calling my bussy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? I like how when we talk about putting things in your evidence locker, you talk about your bussy. <laughs> I, I guess that's where, that's where evidence goes, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry. I love that word. It's so funny. So yeah, and then he made a music video of it. It's not the best song, but I mean, you know, it's Afro a very Man, cheesy song. It's very but cheesy, it, but it's like the point is yeah. what. Yeah. Now they're trying to sue him for evasion of privacy. Yeah, because he made a video using the footage from his own home cameras. Because he had camera set up. That's how. Yeah, and, and and now I don't know. Is that how is that? Well, they said uh, it's said in Ohio. It's the it's it's one party recording law. So as long as one person knows you're recording, like the other people don't have to know you're recording. So there's not. I don't think there's anything they can do about it. Exactly, and then they, and at the end of the video, the music video, it can be seen that they are disconnecting the cameras because they already know that they've been doing some ill shit. Like they shouldn't have. They they found nothing, so they broke the man's house into the man's house for nothing. Just like them WMDs, yeah. In ima Iraq. Ex imagine he would be mad. I'd be mad too. Yeah. I mean, Breaking just because you make house? a song about getting high, the cops want to come and bust down your door because you're selling drugs. <laughs> There's like images of them looking in his CDs. He's like, so wait, you're looking for drugs. Why are you checking my CDs? And my, you know, like maybe you... he had some acid weed. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I don't, I just don't get it at all. I mean, yeah. I mean, J. Cole has that song about the cops trying to get him for selling weed, too. It's like, yeah. oh, yeah, man. So there's this, there's this theory that there's uh, what they call the hip hop police where they go after uh, prominent rappers. And... Afro Man's a prominent rapper. Uh, I mean, you no, know, but I he mean, made a song some... about pop. Let's yeah. go get him. I, there you, that He's part. got a six-figure bank account. Exactly. Exactly. But then again, you know, there's some of these people who we know are on drugs. <laughs> Lil Van? Jo Johnny. I'm not, I don't like calling out I don't like calling out names, Jonas, but uh Johnny Depp. Like, let's invade Johnny Depp's house. His girlfriend pooped on their bed. D d d exactly. And you know why? Because she was hanging out with his ass. On drugs. Exactly. You know what sober people don't do? Poop on a bed. Yeah, you know what real people, sober people don't do? Act like Captain Jack Sparrow. That wasn't the that wasn't the character. They were just like Tim on Tuesday night. <laughs> they saw him at the bar and they're like, "Come on down and record." Yeah, I'm sorry, but if you can't see that, some of the, like the uh, the prominent stars in Hollywood are just like products of like a lot abuse of drugs and alcohol. Yeah. Look at Heath Ledger. Yeah. He did that Batman. Everyone's like, best Joker ever dies. Exactly. Like, cause he's so effed up. Like, of course you can be that good when you're that messed up. Like, Cause exactly. you're literally a sociopath at that point. You're... Exactly. Yeah. But there's, you're... there's no policing for, for, uh, 
for that. So the hip hop police are definitely a real thing. Now, I, I, I'll give you the fact that a lot of the hip hop artists talk about a lot of criminal activity in their art. But, you know, it, it has to be accepted for what it is. It is art. If a uh, if there was a painter who drew uh, images of violence, we wouldn't necessarily equate them with violence. Well, if he drew a map to where he hit his buried girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> if his girlfriend's dead and that's a problem and i imagine that he had a hard time getting what if girlfriends you're named, what if you were named after a famous type of juice and you wrote a book and you talked about how you would kill someone if you were going to kill someone but you didn't kill someone yeah would you be would you think that they should go after them hmm but only if you were named after juice uh wait are they is are you a rapper no but you're no then you're clear gotcha yeah that's how that only works. if you're a rapper yes only if you're a rapper and or r&b singer i guess probably rappers though mostly r&b singer yeah, yeah i don't know man chris, 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 hip-hop, chris, hip-hop police because chris brown is more of an r&b singer than a rapper <laughs> and he definitely didn't get in trouble for all uh, the issues he's done I mean, look, if she if she don't press charges, what can you do, man? Yeah, you know. What can you do? What can you do? Wait, so like, hold on. So so um, what? Hold so on. So if I sh- so like if my wife beat the crap out of me, yes, and they come over and I'm like, we good? That's it? Uh, no, because the state can still prosecute. Oh, that's right. Yeah. But- so why didn't that happen in that case? Oh, I don't know. Because they're rich. That that always helps. That always helps. It's funny, man. Being rich can get you a lot of stuff. Do you have to offer the money? Because then it's like a bribe. I don't think you. Do. I don't think it works like that. It just means that you have access to uh, certain things. It's not like being rich. You can just be like, "Oh, I'm rich," and I, just write a write a check. I in feel his hand like to if the your guy. net worth is over a certain amount, there's like a secret card that you get that nobody knows about that you just like. You just like pull it out of your wallet, kind of like one of those FOP cards when you get pulled over for for the cop. You're just like, here's my green bucket special card, and they're like, oh, never mind, Mister, you can go free. Yes. I'm sorry, I'm a part of the Green Bucket Society. Yeah, and like it's it, it's like a pink lady, right? You got your pink jacket, like yeah. From, yeah, it's like that. Like I feel like when you have a net worth over a certain amount, you get <laughs> something like that because like if they pull you over and like you're drunk, they're, you're like, look. Like all all CEOs are driving around in phantoms with with green buckets in their back seat. Officer, just check the back seat. Yeah. Oh, I'm Why sorry, you, you can go. I'm gonna so. pop the trunk. Why don't you go look in there? And there's just like a bucket, and they're like, "Excuse me, Mister <laughs> Mister Jones." Except the bucket is just like filled with cash. <laughs> Yeah. The, yeah, the yeah. cop just takes his bucket, goes to the car. Yeah, because there's a ton of people that have a lot of money that aren't famous, right? Like, so I feel like, like I feel like you have you get something. See now, now you're getting into is the Illuminati real? And Excuse me, that's what? not exactly what I said. <laughs> kind of, what? we just called it the Green Bucket Society. So I do think that there's a Green Bucket Society. I, <laughs> well, because- I tend to agree. <laughs> Because a lot of like, if you have a lot of money like that, like you have to have so much money to be able to invest in a lot of these like hedge funds and big money things, mm-hmm. or get venture money, or get in these. Oh, that's how that's how the rich get keep getting richer is because they have the opportunity to invest in these things that the average person. Like if I had if I had like say twenty thousand dollars to put in anything I wanted to invest in, I couldn't find the same deal that if someone had a million dollars that they wanted to invest in mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and they could make this, they could then they could exponentially grow their million into 30 million. And because they're like, you pleb, you want to turn your 20K into 100K? Get out of here. No, they'll squash you on the site, man, because that's what you do to the competition. And then it becomes like nepotism central when it's like, oh, only this hundred families are even rich in America. Yeah, man. I need a green bucket card. We got to get one, man. Let's make one. That's the business we should get into. We can become the green bucket. We can start the green buckets. How are we going to get people to join when we don't have our own buckets? For the everyman. It'll be like a poor. If every. (laughs) It'll be like the poor Illuminati. Wait, the 99% need to have their own club? It's called being poor. No, dude, but we have a green bucket society. And And what's it do? Get you extra arrested? We get in the home, man. We get people to join and they let us slide on stuff. But But the people that we need to be slid by are the people that have the green buckets. Are, are, uh. But they. 
they there's more of us than there are of them. Like in Fight Club? Like we're the ones that make your food? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we are the one who make your food. We are Robert Paulson? We are Robert Paulson. Those green buckets for life. If you want to join the Green Bucket Society. We can't. They The Green Bucket already exists. It's send the, $100 it's, it's to my. It's Blue Bow Tie Society. Everyone just wears <laughs> blue bow ties around. No. Send $100 to my cash app. Right now. <laughs> right now. And then delete the app if you afterwards. Be, if you believe. That's TNT Dynamite 777 on CashApp.com. I hope you get $100. And, you better uh, buy me a steak with that. And know that the green buckets are rising. Jonas, you're with me, right? I, I have I have a bucket. You're, you're with me? Yeah. All, all the right. buckets. On, on three buckets, right? One, One two, two, three. three. Go buckets. to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Yep.